Oh, and also to get this to open, you have to have this on safety. So, and to do that, you have to push down the triggers and pull, pull back. Otherwise you can't get it out. So let's clean this up a little bit. Still out. Okay. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put this top screw back in because I do not believe that that is the issue causing this to not want to move back into because that's pretty tight right there so that tells me that the issue is down here in this area not wanting to move forward Tight, but not too tight. Let's go ahead. Here is something that Blake was wanting us to take care of. This screw is very sharp. So we will probably be taking and filing that down just slightly. Okay, to get this out, you do have to wiggle that across. And this is what I'm looking for here. Back this out. Can you see that? Back this out. So that way I can release that forward. Be very careful with this spring. Make sure we get that put in there.
So the spring we just took out goes up in here. And I will probably not be messing with any of this just because that is very awesome craftsmanship. We'll probably get all that oiled down. What I really want to do is get this guy out so that way I can potentially take a little bit off the bottom so it'll slide completely forward into this groove here. So let's take a look at how this comes apart. I'm going to move this over to this side since we no longer need to do anything with that stock. Very light taps on this. Oh yeah, that'll move. So let's get us a very skinny punch. Just push this guy on through. Very, very light taps. So what this pin is holding is this little device here, which moves with this arm. Let's see if we can make sure we get this on camera. This pin holds this arm, which moves this block back and forth. Very carefully gonna remove this. Okay, so looking at this, the end that has been cut flat and not rounded, so you see how that one's slightly rounded, this cut side comes in from the right side of the gun, goes through that pin and over to this channel here. I'm going to try and remove this top piece again here.
So I think what we need to do is actually punch this down just a little bit to get it out of the way. So what's happening is this is being held in place. There's this little catch here that goes through and this little screw comes down here and it was actually pinned in place by that uh, block or that, that pin we just took out a few minutes ago. And there we go, that has been removed. Now we should be able to push this back. So what is now the view in place? do believe this actually comes out the top. There we go. This piece, this slot, goes to the right side of the rifle, holding that in place. Put that in there. Oops, probably couldn't do that very well. This slot here, can't hardly see it. Okay, this slot here goes to this side of the rifle, right there in that fit configuration on top of that little lever you can see there. Now we will push this back. We should, I would think, roll that out of battery, pull that piece out, and I believe this is where our issue lies. So it is just not fitting very well there. Doesn't go, it doesn't fully seat there. It's almost like it's been corroded or replaced. We'll have to do a little bit of filing on the bottom of this and maybe deepen it a little bit. This piece goes in this orientation. Ooh, and that's a little bent right in there. The flattened side, this one's completely round, flattened. This side goes up, this hole goes to the back. that we're going to take a look at these firing pins which look to be I believe the problem with the firing pins is they're not actually getting struck hard enough he was saying that there is an issue with them not 
igniting the cartridges properly. and corrosion down in the bottom down there I'm gonna have to get some more picks to get down in there but all in all I think that is it pretty much torn down to where we need to do it for what we need to do today we will come back once I have a few more brushes that I can get down in there a little bit easier and See where that goes. I am gonna soak it down in a little bit of cleaning oil here. Definitely can't hurt it. going to be it for tonight. We will continue working on this here in the future.